what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we got to talk about some interesting things going on with la night apparently wwe is going to decide to put them in a tag team um that's a very interesting thing to do with la night i know he has become a fan favorite very popular with uh, uh a lot of the uh the wrestling community uh we want to see him in a prominent role uh in wwe but i don't think anyone expected a potential tag team so we're gonna check this article out um this is by uh i guess uh wrestlingnews.co oh so we're gonna check this out wwe smackdown segment scrapped la knight is getting a tag team partner a segment that was originally scheduled for last night's episode of wwe friday uh night smackdown has been pushed to a later date the insider pr uh, private twitter account uh, boozer wrestling is reporting that there were plans for la Knight to find a tag team partner on smackdown however my segment never aired the plan is for Knight to team with rick boogs but this partnership is said to be temporary how or why they will uh will split up slash end the partnership is anyone's guess but wwe history shows that most tag team splits uh, split up on bad terms so there's a good chance night and boogs will uh, uh uh that night or boogs will turn night has been getting great babyface reactions at the live events and seemed destined for a big singles push boozer um made a point to note that boogs was the plan to be night's partner but that all uh that uh but that could still change man and that's pretty much it uh, I've seen people talk about it. Honestly, I know they're trying to get, uh, you know, get more people involved, like with Rick Boogs and stuff like that. Me personally, I wouldn't really be a big fan of it. Uh, I, maybe something great could come from it. You know, maybe they could have a, a nice little, nice, some nice chemistry. Um, and maybe fans will, you know, buy into Rick Boogs even more in a sense um he does have a like a great look so the guy looks like he can go in the ring you know what i'm saying it's just i don't know for me he got the he got the you know what i'm saying the coked up energy like he's always hyped and that's not a bad thing but it's gonna be interesting to see how his energy vibes with la night not sure how that's gonna work um uh, it could be something it could be something that uh catches on like i remember initially when Sami Zayn join the the bloodline me personally i didn't really care for it because he came off like a groupie but it actually started to catch on so maybe this could be one of those things rick boogs and uh la knight have a you know a, a pretty good pairing and people start to get behind them you never know but on paper i'm not a big fan of it but only time will tell but i will say this and i'm going to stick to this uh <laughs> to this notion they need to do something with la knight this year I know a lot of people are saying he's, you know, he may be the guy slotted to win money in the bank this year. Um, I wouldn't have a problem with that, but I'm honestly, at this point, I can I still see Cody trying to finish the damn story. And I still see Cody uh potentially, I guess you could say, um, I can see him being the one to win money in the bank, and that that would be the only real logical way they can get Cody to challenge for the title of uh, uh maybe at SummerSlam, hopefully at SummerSlam, uh, but challenge for the title if he wins money in the bank. So I, I guess I could see that happening. I don't know. Um but I would not have a problem if LA Knight does become uh the money in the bank winner because the guy is over. He is super, super over. It just sucks. We haven't seen much of him on television, and I think he needs to be a prominent face on SmackDown. I, he needs to be seen damn near weekly at least because the guy is so good the guy is so good on the microphone he's pretty good in the ring people care you have something in la night capitalize triple h vince capitalize do something with him i'm glad he's not in that male max uh, maximum male model bull crap cool he had a little weird feud with Bray, even though he lost it. He still came out on top in the fan's eye. Cool. 
do something with him. He wasn't utilized in LA. <laughs> LA Knight not being at WrestleMania in LA. A crime. Do something with him. Now, granted, they are trying to do something with him, put him in a tag team. I don't think anyone was expecting that. But if it comes out to be something entertaining and actually gets over with the fans, I'm okay with it. If it's just like a temporary alliance, I'm okay with it. So we'll see. It's not my first choice. I would definitely try to get him in some uh, prominent mid-card situations. And if push come to shove, definitely need to be in the money in the bank this year. And I wouldn't have a problem if he won it. But I just have a feeling that they're going to probably give that to Cody. Who knows? Anything can happen. But I want to get y'all opinion on it. How do y'all feel like, feel about LA Knight potentially being in a tag team um, going forward for a little bit? Are you guys for it? Especially with Rick Boogs? Or do you feel like they need to be doing, focusing on him as a solo act right now? Let me know where do you guys think they should hand uh, take his booking moving forward. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K. I'm seeing you on the speed of YouTube, rest on the chat of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.